I am so excited to share with you educational neuroscience and what we have been practicing and implementing and researching here in Indianapolis and so many of our large public school districts and with our pre-service teachers and our graduate students. What I love to share is that educational neuroscience is the foundation of everything that we do in education. It is not another program that we that we tap into. It is the umbrella for assessment, for curriculum planning, for behavior engagement. And so in these brief few minutes, what I wanna share with you are some of the strategies and some of the areas that I will be addressing at the professional development in New Jersey at Rowan University. Um, one of the very first aspects of working and sitting side by side teachers and students is helping our educators to understand what happens in the brain when a child or adolescent is in a stress response state. And when this happens, neurobiologically, the brain, the prefrontal cortex shuts off and shuts down. So we talk to students and teachers. This is the most incredible part because they get to learn together their own neuroanatomy. We talk about the prefrontal cortex and we talk about the fight, flight, freeze response. And then we talk about the hippocampus, that little seahorse structure that consolidates memory. And what are the practices that the students and teachers can do together to ensure that they have primed the brain for learning, for relationships and for engagement. Some of the strategies that we are working on in the schools, and these are just a few out of so many. One of the ones is called the focused attention practice. And in this practice, I have been sitting for the past two and a half years with fifth and seventh graders, my pre-service teachers, and helping them to calm the brain, helping them to focus on a stimulus so that they are really, really honing in on that executive function called sustained attention. The other two strategies that we've really, really emphasized are the power of questions and storytelling. When we ask in the moment of a growing conflict, what do you need? How can I help? In that moment, we literally see a shift, an upshifting from that fight, flight, freeze response to that almost that distracted, open perspective in the prefrontal cortex. We are also weeding stories because the brain craves novelty and patterns and context. And we're weaving stories into our standards and into dry information, weaving in personal information for these students. I am so excited to present to the schools and I love having a couple of minutes to share this with you. Thank you so much.